doing is it you can see it's flat calm it's a it's a hundred plus degrees out here man it's it's just it's tough it's flat out tough fishing <clears throat> like i said spro has enough baits you know there's there's a lot of tools you can go to and one of my favorite tools to go to if it gets super super tough and i need to put fish in the boat is i'll get a little fat fly <clears throat> i got an eighth ounce with six pound test line and come up these bluff walls you throw them in the shadow line in the crack and just fish them on the fly throw them out there and keep your line tight and let it pendulum back to you real slow what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to have them pendulum down and actually touch you know touch the ground and kiss the ground right pretty much at the edge of that shadow in this corner here it's only about 19 foot there but we start getting down this bank it's going to be 20 25 foot only about four or five feet off the bank so i'm just letting it slide real slow let it hit the bottom. When it hits the bottom, I'll pop it once and just let it slide down that second line. And those fish are down 15 to 30 foot of water. And they don't want to play. They don't want to run after anything. Sometimes taking a fat fly and just sliding it by, sliding it by their face. Get them to go. There's fish down there. God, God that was a big smallie, dude. That was the hit too. God, I laid into him and he just, that was that big small I was looking for, damn it. I got a piece of him too. Totally caught me by surprise. He thumped it and I laid in, I laid into him and the rod just, it just, that's okay. <clears throat> Tell you, this is, this is what you gotta do, man, when it gets tough. See if he hits it again. Wow. I think dang near ripped my arm off. <clears throat> tell you, this is such a such a sleeper technique. A lot of guys, they don't even want me to tell you about it, but you pick yourself up some 16th and 8th ounce in the baby bluegill on a fat fly. Four pound test fluorocarbon. <laughs> Go to places like Lake Mead and Havasu. Find a bluff wall or any, any shadow, deep shadow cut. Uh, where you see a little break line down there. Just throw it out there just like this. Take the bobber off, throw it out, and just let it pendulum right down past all these little cracks and little cuts and stuff. And that's where these guys are catching these, these tank smallies, big large mouth. It's a sleeper, sleeper technique. And like I said, a lot of people don't want you to know about it, but the word's definitely getting out on this one too. And it's something like this, you know. It's bluff wall where guys will go down and throw a crankbait down or top water or drop shot and not even catch a, a single fish think it's barren come back over here throw a fat fly out and just <clears throat> work it on the slide let it slide right down into deep water and they'll tell you that your line will just boink, hit and just sweep into them that would be a good uphill approach oh there they are let's see Coming right back into that. And you can see how fish naturally turn around, push the bait into stuff. So you do the same thing. You got a pretty good shot of catching them. Get over here on the inside of this point. <clears throat> kind of stay out of these, this bait's way. And if it gets pushed back here, and we got our timing right from deep water to shallow. That would be the spot to get them at. Oh. <laughs> See, and that happened right when, right when it started coming up. Right when it started coming up in this funnel. Like you said, a lot of guys won't, won't take the time to, to set up these casts. Bring it deep water and bring it right up here to the shallow. Bass think they got their little bait fish cornered. Come on, chew. Oh, they're going to bring them right up to the bank. This is, this is shallow water right there. Oh, I foul hooked. I foul hooked. 
Let's see if I get one to go. 